Hello everybody, once again, Becca Switzer with Roof Sales Mastery and author of Diamonds in the Sky. Still on that walk. It's a long one, I just keep thinking of topics to cover and I'm killing two birds with one stone here. I'm exercising, my dogs are getting walked, and I am just delivering some juicy nuggets to you folks. So uh, here's the last one I have time for here this morning. Um, but I probably get this question more than anything else, but honest to God, Becca, how can I get State Farm or Allstate or whoever to pay for Ridge and Starter? I just haven't, I've never gotten anybody to pay for Starter. And I say to them, well, I can teach you how to get a thousand dollars with this, this, and this. Yeah, but what about the Ridge and Starter? Well, I don't know about Ridge and Starter, but I can show you how to get them to pay for a generator, custom bed aluminum, ladder jacks for gutters, and an emergency tarp. That's like three grand. Yeah, that's great. But the Ridge and the Starter, Beck, I don't think you're hearing me. Read my lips. Ridge and Starter. How do I get Ridge and Starter? How do I get Ridge and Starter? You cry out. And again, I say, guys, Ridge and Starter, and there's a plane flying overhead. So sorry, if, I don't know if that's gonna be loud or not. So I'm gonna give it a second here while it flies away. That should be good enough. Guys, Ridge and Starter, let's just say, you've got a claim and you're trying to get Ridge and Starter, it adds up to $500, it's a, it's a good one. Let's just say hypothetically, you know that insurance companies are ready to give you a scripted objection, right? Switching hands again here. They're gonna read you off a script that says what? Tell me, you know what they say? They say, Ridge and Starter is included in the waste. Right? We don't pay for that. And so you already know that, do you, th do you think it's a coincidence that they say that every single time? That every single carrier says it every single time? No, it's not a coincidence. They have come up with a clever way to say no because they know that as a business, huh, we've got contractors every single time on every single claim asking for Ridge and Starter. Maybe it's only a couple hundred bucks, but if we could find a way to say no across the board on every single claim with a clever response, like, well, it's included in the waste. That's already factored into the 10% or the 15%, whatever. Then they don't, they're saving a shitload of money, you guys. Think about it. How many hundreds of thousands of claims do they process and pay out each year? And if they save just $400 on each of those, that's a shitload of money. So. When you are trying to fight this uphill battle because you specifically want them to pay for Ridge and Starter, my answer to you is this. Guys, you could try to fight over Ridge and Starter for a couple hundred measly bucks, spend a ton of time, energy, run into a brick wall over and over and over again, hit your head on that wall over and over and over again, sit on the phone, get frustrated, raise your blood pressure, and usually get nowhere, let's be honest. Or I could show you different line items that I can almost guarantee you will fit your claim that you've never even thought to ask for that will recoup that four or five hundred dollars or more than that without you getting the canned frustrating objection of it's included in the waste. So do you want Ridge and Starter or do you want more money? That is the real question. I will ask you that again. Let it sink in because some of you motherfuckers are still out there going, but I've never gotten them to pay for start. I know, I'm not teaching you to get Ridge and Starter, dum dum. I'm just kidding, you're not a dum dum. You guys are great. I'm just being facetious here to keep it interesting. But guys, I'll ask you one more time. Do you want Ridge and Starter or do you want money? Because if the insurance company doesn't give two shits about giving you money for X, Y, Z, but they're gonna give you a complete brick wall if you ask for Ridge and Starter, or insert that with anything else that you have trouble with, flashings or OMP, whatever. Then why don't you ask for something different that they're not gonna give you objections for that equals the same amount, if not more, and you all win, right? My, my face is just sweating now, and my glasses keep <laughs> sliding down my face. So we're just gonna 
you know, we could just do this the whole time. Hey guys, that's not an attractive angle though. So we're not going to do that. But guys, ridge and starter, that's my answer to this day. I know when somebody hasn't really listened to my videos because they'll listen to a little bit and then they'll send me an email that says, Becca, I listen to your stuff, it's great. I'm just still not sure. How are you getting these carriers to pay for starter? I can get them to pay for ridge sometimes, but the starter strip. And I say, I don't. I'm not asking for that stuff. They're like, but why not? Guys, which brings me to my next point. If ridge and start, if you're at a point right now where ridge and starter matters to you, you are not supplementing right. And what I mean by that is, you should care so little about Ridge and Starter because your supplements are so big because of other weird, creative, out of the box, exact made items that are not Ridge and Starter and Drip Edge and Overhead and Profit and Flashings and Steep Charges. Those things I, I, honest to God, do not even care about anymore. And if you actually study some of my stuff, you'll see that other contractors who are implementing my system that I teach with the line items I teach, how I ask for it, everything else, they don't give a shit either because we are avoiding those arguments for those five or six items. And those five or six items don't add up to that much anyways. When you have a list, and guys, I share a list in my program called the Master List of Supplemental Items, and it is well over 100 things at this point, most of which that are very outside the box creative, kind of bizarre line items that are totally legitimate, but most of you guys have never seen them and you don't know what you don't know. So you can't even search Xactimate for the items I'm talking about if you don't know what I'm talking about because you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so what I'm getting at here is if you're asking for the same five or six items all the time, you don't have a lot to shoot for. If the adjuster is saying no to half of them, you're only getting like two or three things approved. So yes, Ridge and Starter then matters very much. Overhead and Profit then matters very much. And the best you can do is get those five or six items approved, which means your average supplement's maybe only 1500 bucks or something like that. It's limited, okay? Now, if you have a list of over 100 things and you can legitimately make 16 or 17 items on that list fit this claim and they're legit, the best you can get is 16 or 17 items. You're avoiding the argument of the Ridge and Starter stuff, the included in the waste, it's not enough trades, it's not complex enough, it's included in the price per square, we've got a cost, we've got a preferred contractor that'll do it for our price, yada, 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 yada. You can avoid that and the best you can get is 16 or 17 things approved. That is where you see people doubling their claims. That is where you see people have a 60% profit margin by just adding a four, five, six, seven thousand dollars supplement following my system. And now if the adjuster says no to half of those things, you're still getting like eight or nine things approved. That blows out of the water what you were getting before. And we're not given two hoots about bridge and starter. So, if you searched the internet today for how do I get insurance to pay for Ridge and Starter? This is the answer. You don't. You get the money elsewhere faster and easier. Guys, I don't know how to say this without sounding very salesy and very <laughs> kind of cocky actually. And, and I really want you to understand that when I say this, I'm saying it pragmatically. I'm not saying it because I think I'm smarter than all of you. This is the honest truth. If you are not following my supplement system, you are leaving behind literally tens, if not hundreds, most of you, hundreds of thousands of dollars. I mean that. And the way that I want you guys to understand this is the average contractor following my system adds an additional $2,500 to his claims across the board. So if you're a contractor that does 200 jobs a year, do the math. That's a half a million dollars that you are just waving goodbye, well, goodbye to unknowingly, the worst part, without even knowing about it. And it's sitting there, but you don't know how to ask for it because you don't know any other items besides the same stuff that you've been asking for all along. <sighs> Do the math again. And I don't have my calculator and this should be easy, but <laughs> math, not for me. Let's say that you still don't believe me. Yeah, right, Becca. I feel like I'm doing everything. I used to be an adjuster. I have a guy that used to be an adjuster that writes my estimates for me. I feel like I... I'm pretty damn good at supplementing, Becca, but maybe there's one thing that I don't know that you could teach me. Well, let's say that I could teach you one new thing only that you could apply to every single one of your claims that only added up to $300, let's just say. 
and you do 200 claims this year. How much money is that? <laughs> it's probably like, this is so bad that I don't know. What is that, 60 grand or something? My math, guys, I'm smart with other stuff. Math, maybe not my, not my strongest suit without a calculator. But if that is $60,000, boy, will I feel silly if it's not after this. Can you afford to not be getting that money? I don't think you can. That's somebody's salary. That's a brand new truck. That's going to Vegas and having one hell of a vacation that you probably won't remember, but other people will. Facebook will show it. <laughs> so guys, if you are that contractor and you wanna make more money, please look into two programs. One, the Advanced Sales and Supplement Training Program, and two, I would add on to that, if your budget allows, the Xactimate Mastery Course. We will show you everything. The master list of supplemental items, all, my, all 100 and however many it is now, it's probably 110 or 115 things at this point, I add to it all the time. Uh, we show you what to say, how to say it, the email script we use when we send it over to adjusters, how to handle adjusters' objections, letters for overhead and profit, so many different things. How to use language in exact where to overcome adjusters' objections, what to say when an adjuster says X, Y, Z. All of it is in there. Let us teach you. Make more money. Don't you want more money? <laughs> now, Beck, I'm good. I made enough money last year. Okay, cool. Well, everybody else, come over. Check it out. www.roofsellsmastery.com. Uh, you can check out my programs there. Email me if you have a specific question that you truly believe I have not answered on the website, but I promise if you take a few minutes and look, I put everything there. Um, but check it out. And then Becca, B-E-C-C-A at RoofSellsMaster.com. I'm finally done with my walk here. I need to literally hose Cole down because he has dove face first into mud puddles uh, repeatedly and he looks, he actually looks like a hog right now. <laughs> He's a pig. So guys, I gotta go, uh, but this has been great. I would love to help you. Please check out my programs. At the very least, check it out, see what you think. We'll catch you later. Adios guys, bye.